There have been a lot of hit shows over the last few years that have absolutely taken over the realm of television by storm, both for the better and for worse. But in this video, we're talking about one of the better ones by far in the form of The Masked Singer. A recent entry showed just how crazy things could get on the series. Allow us to show you how the Hanson brothers were unmasked on The Masked Singer. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. What is Masked Singer? So, for those of you who somehow don't know what this show is, we'll give you a brief breakdown. The Masked Singer is the latest in a long line of shows that were made with the purpose of doing an entertainment show along the lines of Dancing with the Stars, but with celebrity singers. Of course, if you see the singer singing, that can create a bias in regards to whom you go and vote for when the time comes, right? So, the masked singer goes and does things very differently. They get a group of celebrities, both super famous and ones you might not know, puts them in extremely decorated costumes, puts on a voice modulator for when they're just talking, and then, when they are about to sing, they do a custom video giving clues about who they are. As for the performances themselves, those are their real voices. The judges and the audience have to try and figure out who is in those costumes, for both fun and glory. The performer who is voted for the least has to unmask at the end of each episode. It may sound like a simple thing, but it's honestly really deep and a lot of fun. They have had all sorts of performers over the five seasons of the show, from sports athletes like Rob Gronkowski to TV legends like Raven Simone and Drew Carey, to actual singers like JoJo Siwa and Gladys Knight. So with every new season comes an anticipation of sorts about who might be next, who else is in those costumes and is trying to make a star-studded performance. Which brings us to… Hanson. So on the May 12th episode of the show, there were just five performers left, and one of the most curious ones remaining was that of the Russian dolls mainly because they were shown both in singular and multi-layered costumes, meaning three Russian dolls performing, and it was really getting to the judges that they didn't know who it was. However, despite another grand performance and lasting that long in the game, the Russian doll was eliminated, and when the singular costume was opened up, the crowd and judges were amazed that it was the three brothers Hansen who were in that costume. You've made Masked Singer history. This is the first time we've ever had a band on our show," Scherzinger said after the big reveal. You've made Masked Singer history. This is the first <laughs> time we've ever had a band on our show. Well, it's been a blast. There was something quite liberating about being in this anonymous costume, Isaac said during a post-show interview. You kind of just have fun with it and you just go, listen, this is purely about the entertaining factor of making these dolls into a character. So yeah, that was a big reveal, and Hansen had a lot to say about it after the unveiling. What it was like being on Masked Singer. So you might be wondering about the Russian doll outfit, but apparently that was the plan from the start according to Taylor Hansen. It was clear that, from the beginning, the request for us to be on the show was about being a group and being something that had never been done before on the show, which we liked. We were asked about participating and then they said, particularly we like you guys because we've never had a group of people. We want to change it up. And so we knew that part of our decision to do it and what was interesting to us about it was, we're going to stretch ourselves. We're going to feature something that is really important. We are singers. But the game for us is going to be about twisting and surprising people on the number of people, because one singer is expected, two had never been done before until the last season, and then three had never been done before at all. So the fact that people might think there were four of us was that much more interesting. And interesting it was. But it was also very challenging, Zach noted. It was an interesting experience. Every day was a new challenge because you would come in and decide how many dolls were going to be on stage, based on the song you probably picked only a day or two before. That and we're still arranging the parts for. There's a lot of decisions made really fast, and you really have to stay on your toes. There's a great team of people working with you, they are pros, but you're not, so you still have to live with the fact that you're doing it for the first time. So sometimes there would be two of us in one doll. 
Sometimes we'd have the dancers pushing a doll on set when the cameras were looking the other way to give that sensation of maybe there is a fourth or a fifth person. Is there something I'm not seeing? And you're trying to do that little bit of sleight of hand, almost magic, to get the judges to not see those things happening at the same time. So it was a fun challenge. Song choice. Song choice is very important if you want to go and advance in Masked Singer. But as Taylor noted, they had to be careful because some of the crowd would easily pick up on their voices. We presumed people would guess because of course we do have a relationship with our audience, and so, guys, we've been out there for a while. Nobody's going to guess it from the harmonies. In fact, the show was more like, oh no, they won't know. No, they will. But I don't think anybody guessed that it would be that fast. I think it's got to be the combination of just the actual difference in our voices in the harmonies. There's just not that many people that have the particular combination. The way we approached it was we really worked at every level. We worked on the clues with the show and the song selection and picking a mix of current, modern songs and throwbacks. And then we purposely moved around who was singing lead, so the first song you heard, you heard my voice singing the lead on the Michael Jackson tune, but then you go and you have lots of Zach on the Jason Derulo track and then on Shallow. Oh my god. It's gonna feel real good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make you And then on Shallow, you have Isaac starting off the song. So we felt like at that point, each song is so different. 24K Magic has all the hype man stuff. So we felt like we pretty much used every tool at our disposal to keep people guessing. And we thought that our inability to really dance would show that we were Hanson pretty quickly. We tried to focus on the singing. What's next for Hanson? As for what's next for Hanson, that might actually surprise you. They're going to be releasing their seventh album this year, called Against the World. But the twist is that before the album releases, they're going to be doing something special with the singles. Mainly, they'll be releasing one a month up until the album releases, according to Zach. The last few weeks in particular, we've been very quiet because there's so many questions from our fanbase about the masked singer. We knew we weren't going to release a project until right when the show was over because we'd just been inundated with these questions. It also doesn't hurt that it's a hugely successful show and it seemed like a great opportunity to introduce something new to anyone who just isn't familiar with Hanson. I mean, there's millions of people in the world who just don't know anything about our band. And so you take this opportunity to say, hey, here's something if you're watching. The album is all about the individual songs released one song every month, and in November, it will be officially a product that people can buy as an album. Going into our 30th year, it seemed like a great way to just put the spotlight on each song and each story. So yeah, even after all of these years, Hanson is still going strong and making things work for them. And no doubt the Masked Singer appearance will help boost sales when the time comes. So what do you think? Did you predict that they were indeed Hanson before their unmasking? Are you excited that they are going to go and do more music in 2021? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.